Hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today we're decorating a vintage envelope. Now for starters, we're using a decoupage glue um, to glue down the top half or the top sheet of that napkin. I already explained this in the previous decoupage video, but for decoupage glue, you use two thirds glue, one third water. And the reason why I'm doing a vintage uh, themed envelope is because first of all, the inside of um, what was in this envelope was also vintage. And second of all, a lot of you have been asking for more vintage themed stuff because I used to do that and then I wasn't really interested in it anymore. And now I'm kind of back. <laughs> Not really, really back though, because if I'm completely honest, the pastel and bright colors are more my thing than vintage. But it is really fun to work with, for example, this um, very old music note paper. And like I said, the inside of this envelope was also vintage and I did make a video on that as well. It's really cool. I think you guys are really gonna like it. But the sad thing is I made this for a swap a uh, swap in the Netherlands and it never arrived so I'm afraid it got lost but because I was too lazy to write down my address I used a sticker like a return address sticker from my PO box so I'm kind of hoping that next time I go to my PO box it might be in there because it would be so sad if this got lost like the amount of work that went into this and also just the fact that meal gets lost in general that's just sad so I have to go to the PO book sometime soon because this weekend we're going to a festival and next week I have something super exciting. I don't want to say too much about it yet, but it will require me to stay home a little bit longer. I'm not pregnant, don't worry. <laughs> but um, I, so I want to go to the PO book sometime this week again. So I'm hoping to find my own meal in there because, you know, sad. By the way, I made a Polaroid frame, as you can see on the right, and what I used for that is a rectangular square, rectangular die and a square die, and then I just, you know, created, created my own Polaroid die, basically, by combining these two. And then I'm also die cutting that same music note paper into little leaves, little flowers, because I love this napkin, it's, but it's already quite busy. So I'm trying to find something that's relatively mm, calm, I guess. Something that's not too busy to um, decorate it some more. What I'm doing now is I have that little stamp ink pad um it's uh, i think it's pink and i'm using that to uh, give the edges of the flower a little bit of color it looks really really cute i think this is a coral pink which is one of my favorite colors of pink and then i'm also going to use my distress oxide to um, really lightly color in the edges of the leaves as well because i did like the simple clean look of those um, music paper die cuts but I did want to make them a little bit more special by adding some color to them and by the way the washi tape sample that I used um, <laughs> it has those like the, the the finger on it like the hand with the finger on it the red one I got that from Sahara a while ago and I thought it matched really really well and it also covers up the edge of the napkin which is quite nice <laughs> putting some Distress Oxide on the frame as well. I think this one is called Bundled Sage, if I'm not mistaken. I will link everything I have used down below. As always, I always include an Amazon link and a craft stash link if I can. However, a lot of the dyes I use are from AliExpress and I cannot link them because the links change all the time. I'm spritzing it with some water because um, the stress oxides react to water, which gives a really cool effect. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, have you guys ever had meal get lost? Um, this is not the first time for me and it's always really, really sad. Also, subscriber meal has gotten lost. A while ago I sent a PO box reply to Prayakta in India. So, you know, it already takes a while, so you never know if it got lost or if it's still on the way, but you know, it's been three months, so we're pretty sure it got lost and it's just so sad. 
I always wonder what happens to mail that gets lost. Like, is someone else who's not supposed to reading my letter, first of all, is someone else opening the mail that's just a weird feeling or what happens to it in general <laughs> someone on instagram i asked this question on instagram and someone said mail i had once got lost and it had chocolate in it so i hope someone else got to enjoy the chocolates that's kind of nice <laughs> yeah and i have this one this like the only swaps i do are in the uh, dutch swapper group so i only used the dutch stamps and I'm now, because I was still not sure about like how special I had to make it, if I had to really cover it up or not. So I'm using some really like light inks. I have a like a sage green and a gray one to make some background elements, such as the little dots stamp. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite stamps to use. You know, I'm all about the simple designs. So I'm stamping some more things on there, such as that little bee. I also got those from AliExpress. I'm sorry, I cannot really help you with that. And then, oh yeah, that says keep dry or please keep dry. And then I'm going to do something else. I'm pretty sure. In a second. I'm now just gluing down the little leaves. I'm still looking for the perfect glue, like I'm using that fine tip bottle for those really tiny elements. I'm using a glue stick for the bigger elements, but nothing is perfect. So I just ordered on Crofted Lear, oh goodness help me. Um, if you want to see a shop log, let me know by the way, I will uh, see if I can work with that. So I just ordered from Crofted Lear, craft supplies, mainly paper actually, I ordered so much paper, I love 12 by 12 paper pads and smaller ones but okay that putting that aside for now so i ordered on croftelier and i also ordered a glue gun people have been telling me i need to get a glue gun for so long i never listened i always thought it would be messy but now okay i'm gonna try <laughs> and i'm oh yeah what i'm using is what is that stuff called again i think it's cosmic shimmer or it's at least it's called gilding paste i don't know what gilding means but it's gilding paste the color is like a really oh i know the name of the color because it's so cool this color is called enchanted gold love that name i'm just putting that over a stencil to create kind of a cool effect this is not really stenciling paste as it is you know just adding a little bit of shimmer but the end result looks really really cool I quite like that again i will link this down below so you can get some for yourself if you like none of this is sponsored i'm just genuinely enthusiastic this is the end result as you can see i don't yeah you can see it a little bit on the video the, the pretty shimmer and you can also see those background stamps and everything i did on this envelope <laughs> i'm really happy with how this turned out and actually my idea is if I find this mail in the PO box, I'm just going to send it to someone else, not the envelope, but the inside, because for the swap, I already had to make a new one. So she, the receiver of this mail, she got a new one. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to decide what to do with the old one if I find it back, which I really, really hope I do. So that was my video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments uh, what you would like to see on my channel. If you would like to see more envelope decorating. And I will see you very soon. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.